what is box back in design in response surface methodology in this video i explain what is box back in design how to design it and also how to collect the data and how to analyze it using minitab also in excel how to uh, design it in excel as well so box back in design is a three level design uh, for each factor in this example we have seen in the past we have i've used this example a lot the temperature humidity and i have added another factor the light level so let's say that um, the center point for the temperature is 72 degree fahrenheit is the optimum level uh, comfort level for um, so at 72 degree people feel more comfortable and say we want to go five degree down from there um, and then five degree up setting the other two levels low level and high level for the humidity assume that 50 percent is the optimum and then we want to say 20 percent higher and 20 percent lower to get the other two levels to make the three levels now for the lighting level say for example uh, 10,000 lux is the um, amount of light that uh, we need for that particular task done in that uh, room or whatever uh, we are trying to do this study and then the uh, we go 5000 down and 5000 up to set the level um, so this is basically in in the picture you can see here in this um, cube that uh, this is a design with one center point and then um, 12 other points so um, let's um, go to excel and let me show you how you actually can design this uh, this will give you a little bit more idea about what's going on behind the scene in minitab so if you look at these this is the layout for a three factors and three level for each factor design here we have this um, as you can see here a b let's say temperature and humidity um, this is a basic two square design uh, if you know don't know how to do that you can go to the open educator.com slash doe check the factorial design which is the basics to the uh, center um, basic to the response surface methodology so um, assume that you know how to create this two square if not was the first video under the uh, factorial design um, so you basically create this and then add a center point uh, for the third variable so it's very simple as you can see here this is a balanced incomplete design so as simple enough just type zero zero center point for on this B and then set center point for a and for the center points you can collect maybe as low as one point or three uh, if you have more then you have more degrees of freedom also you will be able to test the lack of fit but just to do the response surface one point is enough um, so this is how you design it and then you go collect the data uh, the response here uh, let me go to minitab and show you how to design it in minitab so go to start doe uh, response surface create a design so central composite is by default selected select box by again uh, and then you can see the available design here um, it is started with the three factor there is no two factor box back and design so and then you can see basically leave everything default hit ok it will produce this design for you if you don't want to do it in excel now once you design it and collect the data let's say uh, you have all these levels and collect the comfort level from 15 subjects and then let's see how to analyze this in uh, minitab so the analysis is not really any different than the um, so once you've done the design select the response comfort hit ok it will do the analysis for you as you can see here temperature the the linear levels are not uh, really significant is the non-linear term for both temperature and humidity are significant rest of the stuffs are not significant now post this data in the open .com so you can see uh, you can run the analysis by yourself to see now this data is generated by random numbers so it will change a little bit I didn't keep the original one uh, but the result will be very close 
so let me show you how to then create the response uh, surface and contour plot so response surface basically everything is set there now you could choose the other one light here but light is not significant so not really interested in that so temperature and, and humidity uh, and then comfort is a response hit okay so this will produce the response surface for you a lot of time uh, contour plot is easier to explain so let me go show you how to produce com contour plot um, same thing basically um, as you can see here there is a range um, where you feel the most comfortable now the humidity lines are more parallel so as you go along with this y-axis or humidity axis there is not much significant difference in comfort however if you go along the x-axis you see a lot of changes just a little change of temperature changes uh, the comfort level um, so basically it's a simple way of doing response surface um, using this uh, box back and uh, design.